welcome to Let's Talk Spoop. I'm your host, Don, and today we're doing something special. So, uh, for longtime viewers of the show, uh, I've done previously a tier list of Friday the 13th movies, and today we're going to do the same thing, but for Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, so I'm going to talk about each Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm going to rate it on a scale of S to D. I doubt that there will be very many Bs. I feel like it's going to be mostly Bs given this franchise. But you never know. We'll see what happens. Um, if you like this concept, if you like what I'm doing, uh, let me know. And I'll try to make some more tier videos in the future. I have a couple of ideas. I was thinking about maybe doing a um, slasher film mashup matchup where we have uh, different slashers versus each other and I rank them out or even just ranking out uh, on a tier list various slashers and like horror movie monsters, stuff like that. Um, if you guys think that would be cool, please comment, uh, let me know, and I would be more than happy to do it. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump into tier list two. So, Memory on Elm Street, uh, classic slasher film franchise um kind of kind of a staple really uh in the the genre um and it all started with uh nightmare on elm street part one so nightmare on elm street part one um it's the it's the beginning it's the quintessential it's uh you know the introduction to the character of freddy krueger is the introduction to the concept uh and it was genuinely terrifying when it came out so obviously this is an a rank movie possibly a s rank movie but there are other movies in the franchise that i honestly feel are superior to the original but it is the original so it's an a rank um next we have nightmare on elm street part two so part two uh nightmare on elm street part two is like final fantasy 2 or the legend of zelda 2 where unlike friday the 13th where part two really inspired the entire franchise part two of nightmare on elm street was an attempt to do something different and it it didn't work it was just like final fantasy 2 or as i said legend of zelda 2 link's adventure where they try to do something new it didn't quite work out it's definitely the black sheep of the series um and i'm gonna have to we have to put in c because not only is the black sheep of the series it also never gets referenced again uh none of the the plot elements that happen in it matter like in this movie freddy is trying to get a human body so he can go around killing people but then the rest of the series oh sorry spoiler alert for a 30 year old movie series um, but throughout the rest of the series, um, he's just completely content with being this dream demon thing. And so like really two didn't matter at all, but you gotta give credit for trying something new. So that's why I put it in the C category. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street, part three, dream warriors. Fantastic um great concept great execution they brought back heather langenkamp from the first one the gal who played nancy and she's now a psychiatrist and she's trying to help these kids and they just so happen to also be fighting freddy krueger um it is a great concept it's very well done um and probably one of if not the arguably the best movie in the franchise uh so this one goes in the s category because this movie is phenomenal. Um, although, honestly, I don't know if it would make as much sense if you haven't seen the first one, but maybe. Uh, all right. Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4. Um, I don't know what to say about this movie. So, they couldn't get Patricia Arquette to come back and play the same role as she had played in number three. So they just cast another blonde girl in the hopes that like you wouldn't notice um yeah so that's a thing uh which i hate when they do that and it's really weird because the two other surviving characters from part three um came back 
So like, but they couldn't get Patricia Arquette. I don't understand. And of course, Robert England came back because Robert England. But so there was that. Um, additionally, the end of three really felt like an ending. Like three, Freddy Krueger's mom's ghost shows up and tells you how to kill Freddy for realsies. And you get more backstory on like where he came from and like yeah it just felt like a complete movie and four felt like oh we can just make some more money out of this so not the greatest film um that's gonna go down here into the d category um part five the only thing i can say for part five is that it does have for some reason, a scene in the opening that has stuck with me since my childhood, and that is the main character almost drowning in the shower. But other than that, like the like shower door gets stuck closed and like it fills up with water. For some reason, that's always stuck with me. I think it's because I had a shower like that when I was a kid. Um, but for some reason, that one always stuck with me. But other than that, five is is worthless um it's just a movie that they made they did get the the returning two returning actors uh from part four um to return and do things and that's that's about it um i think so i think the explanation in part four of why freddie came back is because patricia arquette's character who's played by a different actress in that movie uh has the ability to pull people into her dreams so she kept or she started dreaming about freddy again and so she pulled him back into reality or something it was weird um there's also like really bad martial arts it's just overall bad movie and then five just kind of continued with the the overall bad movie ness um i think five is no well three three is the beginning of when freddy krueger starts to be like a wisecracker and then four, he like went more, and then five is really nothing but him making bad jokes. I think five has the one, the kill, where he turns the guy into a comic strip and then cuts him to pieces. This is terrible. This is just a terrible film. Um, moving on. So next we have Freddy's Dead, which was supposed to be the end of Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, if you can't tell by looking at the tier list, it wasn't. Uh, but, um, had an interesting concept. Like, the idea was that, essentially, Freddy killed every child in Springwood over a long period of time. And now, he can't kill anybody anymore, because he only wants to kill children. He doesn't go after adults. Except when he went after Heather in Part 3. But that's beside the point. So now there's this town that has no children in it. It's all adults. And there's this teenager that like shows up in this um like home for wayward youths and he starts talking to a therapist there tells her about like that he needs to get back to springwood and so she takes him there and the movie uh so it's an interesting concept um and that's it the kills were all lackluster uh it was a it was a movie intended to be in 3d so like watching it in 2d is very jarring um and then you get like the actual the actual death quote unquote of freddy krueger because it gets explained in four dream master wait is that four or five he's explaining one of them uh dream master whichever one that's titled uh that freddy um got his powers uh from these dream demons that just are evil and wanted him to kill people and then at the end of freddy's dead uh he the the dream demons burst out of him and fly off and so now freddy's dead apparently uh so if you can't tell by my talking about it i wish i actually had a lower category on my tier list because five and six 
are that bad. They're just terrible films. Um, <clears throat> so now, complete paradigm shift. We move into Wes Craven's New Nightmare, which is a meta as hell film. The concept in New Nightmare, they bring back Heather Langenkamp, they bring back uh, the guy who played her dad. They bring in Robert England. They bring in Wes Craven because he made the movie. And the idea is, is that it's about Heather in the real world. And she's kind of getting weird dreams. And she's getting pressured into doing another Freddy Krueger movie. And she doesn't want to do it. But then, at the same time as that, these weird dreams start to manifest and become reality. And essentially... Freddy Krueger, but not Freddy Krueger, comes into the real world and starts killing people and doing things in the real world through her son's dreams. Um, and it turns out that he's like some sort of actual no shit, actual no crap demon. Um, and it's just so meta, really interesting, really well done. It was a definite mind trip. Uh, I would strongly recommend it. This movie also goes into the S category, if my mouse will work. This movie also goes into the S category. Um, it is phenomenal. I think I like Dream Warriors better, but it's a, it's a close one. Um, then we get a Freddy vs. Jason. Freddy vs. Jason, oh my god. Uh, I talked about it in my Friday the 13th uh, film tier list. I love that movie. Um, it is phenomenal. It's everything that every fan always wanted ever since these two juggernauts came into existence um it's got a pretty all right story and it's just a fantastic film uh so that one's also going to go into the s tier uh actually let me put it in there. Nah, yeah s tier that that's also going to go into the s tier um uh, in this order i i like just the meta nature of new nightmare so much that outranks Freddy and Jason. Freddy and Jason is 100% fan service, though. Hi, Nibbler. Come here, you. Oh, look at my little, look at my little co-host, everybody. This is Nibbler. Look at her. Isn't she adorable? She's rude, but she's adorable. Nibbler, say hi to the world. Say hi. Say hi. You just mailed. Say hi. Fine. Rude. Anyway, um, can't hear my mouth. Um, yeah. So. Freddy vs. Jason is 100% fan service, and I love it for that, but it's not as good as Dream Warriors or New Nightmare. Uh, finally, we come to the remake. So, hot take. The remake is good. I know. I know. The internet's going to hate me. I'm going to get kicked off the YouTubes. Nobody's going to watch my channel ever again. But the remake... To Nightmare on Elm Street is a good slasher film. Is it great? By no stretch of the imagination. But most slasher films don't fit into the great category anyway. But it is a good slasher film. And it paid homage to the original very well. Um, they repeated classic scenes like the hand coming up out of the water. Like it's going to kill Nancy. Um, it had, uh, has a bunch of actors that got... They were fairly small actors at the time that became much much bigger after um this film uh the guy who played freddy krueger whose name i can't remember but he's the guy that played rorschach from uh watchmen jackie earl haley so jackie earl haley who played um the new freddy uh I, he did a phenomenal job the makeup was fantastic he was creepy he made me uncomfortable to look at both with and without the makeup it is really well well chosen cast well acted um, it just wasn't scary enough and he didn't wisecrack right and that's that's what people when people think of Freddy Krueger they think of his wisecracking his joking um, him saying you know puns as he murders people which as a father I appreciate puns don't get me wrong but I really enjoyed this movie so uh, I'm going to place this in the A tier Actually, you know what? B tier. It's a B tier film. Uh, it's not as good. It's not on the same. No, actually, yeah, let's go A tier. It's not quite on the same level as the original. Um, 
Nightmare on Elm Street. It is a remake, right? But it is a legit film, and anybody who can take like their their preconceived mo notion of Freddy Krueger out of their brain um, should appreciate this film. It was really well done. Uh, cool. Uh, well, thank you all uh, for watching. Let's talk spoop. I once again am your host Don, and uh, if you like this video and you want me to make more tier videos, please let me know. Uh, I will be more than happy to make more tier videos. Put a put a request down in the comments or through whatever messaging service it is that uh, we have. I don't know anything about it, but put some requests in there. I would be more than happy to do it. Uh, I think my next one is going to be a absolute masterpiece series known as Sharknado. I have never seen any of the Sharknado movies. I have avoided them like the plague. So much, very much looking forward to doing this tier list. Um, thanks for watching. Okay, thanks, bye.